For me, nature is one of the neatest things on this planet. That's why Rodney and I started Nature Walk, because we want everyone to know how neat nature is, instead of just me and Rodney knowing it. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Without a doubt, coming out into nature is one of the neatest things there is to do. But you also have to be careful. That's why I always try to pack a heat, try to pack a gun. It's just a little bit, pack some heat. Now this isn't too, this isn't much of a big boy. I don't want to kill the animal, but I do want to warn it and say, hey, I think you're pretty neat, but I respect your distance. There's bears out here, there's mountain cougars, and a biting goat. <laughs> How neat is that? That's pretty neat. <laughs> oh wow, score! <laughs> Look at this. This is an aspen. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Wow. What a beaut. Whew. You know what would be a great capper to a great day? It would be seeing a wild animal. I always get real excited at the opportunity to maybe see an antelope or a fox, you know, or some sort of mountain beast. So what I do sometimes is I'll try to, you know, shake up, shake things up a little bit, get the earth moving, and call out to them, you know. Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. Hip, 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 hip. Come on. Yeah, Lana. Come on, girl. Nothing. Gee, dang it. I don't see any coming out. Come out right now, but I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> Not too often do you get all this neatness in one location. That's called nature. For me, nature is one of the neatest things on this planet. That's why Rodney and I started Nature Walk. Because we want everyone to know how neat nature is, instead of just me and Rodney knowing it. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Oh wow. Oh wow. Uh, okay. Look what we've got here. These are ants. More specifically, black mountain ants. A lot of ants are worker ants. You can tell they're working because they lift things that are real heavy. Sometimes as heavy as humans. Ants will work all day to put together the inside of their kingdom. And then at the end of the day, they'll relax and celebrate ant style. Oh wow, I just found some pine cones. Early settlers thought that pine cones were actually tree poop. If they stepped on it, they'd say, oh no, I got tree poop on my tootsies. Um, well, actually, that fact was proven wrong in 1940 by Dr. Samuel Beckington. <laughs> How neat is that? Look out, Rod, it's tree poop. <laughs> Talk about a beaut. This is quite a day. Quite a day for nature, that is. <laughs> well, look. Look what we have here. What we have here is your standard Christmas tree. Uh, a little tidbit of information that not everybody knows is that Christmas trees actually grow all year round. Not just when they're Christmassy and Santa's around. Pretty neat.
Wow, there's some nature out today, no doubt about that. Ready to do this ride. Ready? Let's fire it up. Nature block. For me, nature is one of the neatest things on this planet. That's why Rodney and I started Nature Walk. Because we want everyone to know how neat nature is. Instead of just me and Rodney knowing it. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful day. Let's see what we can find. And as you look around, there's all sorts of different species. Different species of all sorts of different things. One thing I noticed, whoa, it's a bear I think. It's a bear I think. Bear, I think. Oh, oh, <laughs> the bear scare. Not the bears aren't, bears, bears are neat. They're scary too. Be really careful because if you see a bear, there's a chance it'll come up with its chompers and eat you in your head. Great day for nature. Sometimes if you're not careful, thorns will get in your socks. And sometimes they'll, they'll poke you. They'll poke you right in the skin. Not that neat, but it's part of nature. So in that respect, how neat is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Quiet, quiet. Right up there, if you look real close, you can see a bird. Quiet, wow. Oh wow, that's a beaut. What we have right up there is a bird. You have to be really quiet to not alarm the bird because a lot of times alarmed birds will fly away. Most birds can kill you with their beak. He's looking right at me. Just look at it exist. Birds will fly north, south. It's totally up to them. Oh, he's singing at us. What a neat bird. He's saying it's beautiful up there. I'm gonna tell him he looks beautiful. Gosh, what a beautiful bird. Gorgeous.